Zombies. Violent, mindless creatures with a taste for human flesh. Believe it or not, zombies actually exist in the animal kingdom. But in this case, parasites control them. Get ready to discover the dark side of nature on our Wildpedia. Of all the strategies life has developed for survival, parasitism is among the most common. So what exactly is a parasite? Well, a parasite is an organism that survives by taking resources, such as nutrients, from another organism called the host. Parasites give nothing back in return, and often harm the host in the process. There's still a lot we don't know about parasites, but what we do know is that many of them have evolved some truly strange and sometimes disturbing features. Praying Mantis Horsehair Worm Case in point, the first zombified creature on the list is none other than the Praying Mantis. This creature is often controlled by the Horsehair Worm, aka Cordodes formicanus. Don't be misled by the name. Horsehair worms are not nearly as harmless as they may sound. Actually, they are more like the chestburster from Alien than, well, anything cute. Be warned, you can't unsee this. Now, the horsehair worm is not exactly a worm. It is a gnarly parasite finding its way inside a host and taking over its brain to hitch a ride to the nearest water source. And if that's not the very definition of a zombie, I don't know what is. The journey of a horsehair worm starts innocent enough as an egg. These eggs grow into squiggly larvae that live in a water source, such as a river, which are then eaten by a mayfly that also lives in the river. The mayfly then turns into an adult and heads to dry land, where it just might get eaten by a praying mantis that has no idea what it's in for. Inside the host, the horsehair worm goes at it, eating up all the stored up fat in the praying mantis, which takes about a month. Then, the host starts to lose control of its body as the worm takes over, boosting chemicals into the praying mantis's brain, which makes the mantis walk around mindlessly until it happens to reach water. Finally, the horsehair worm slowly crawls out of the host's body, which is something the poor praying mantis doesn't survive. Imagine having giant horsehair worms wiggling behind you like that as you're dying. Yuck! Zombie Ant Fungi There's a reason that you are told not to go around eating whatever fungi you might find in the wild. You might think that this has something to do with magic mushrooms, and it kind of does, because there are certain types of fungi that can alter your brain. Or, if you are an unfortunate ant in this case, Ophiocordyceps fungi, also known as zombie ant fungi, are known for their ability to alter ants' behavior and mindset, and the same goes for many other insects that have the misfortune of eating this fungus. So, how this zombification works is that a minuscule, almost invisible, fungal spore flutters through the air and lands on the back of an ant, and the unlucky insect doesn't suspect anything. As the next few days pass, the ant still feels fine, but the spore is actually growing inside its body. Slowly, it takes over the ant's nervous system. A week after the infection, the ant begins to behave strangely. It doesn't sleep well and doesn't work hard. And one day, it just leaves the colony unnoticed. This is because the parasite spore has taken control of the ant's muscles. The insect wanders the forest until it climbs a blade of grass or a bush to a height of about 10 inches, grabs tight to the stem, and just waits there until it dies. Then the spores, which have been multiplying inside the ant, are released from its body to kill even more insects in the same way. What a crazy tragedy! Cockroach, jeweled cockroach wasp. 
cockroaches, the most common pest in the world. The insects that everyone hates and always tries to kill. But no matter how many times we stomp them, squash them, or even bomb them with toxic chemicals, these pesky pests always seem to pop up time and time again. But wait until you see their enemy. Meet the jeweled cockroach wasp, or emerald cockroach wasp. A member of the family Ampulicidae. This wasp is known for its unusual reproductive behavior, which involves stinging a cockroach and using it as a host for its larvae. Here's how it goes down. A female jeweled wasp will find a cockroach three or four times bigger than she is and slowly and carefully approach the target. Once she is close enough, she strikes, stinging it twice. The first sting disables the roach's front legs. The second delivers a chemical directly into the insect's brain, causing the roach first to vigorously groom itself and then fall into a state of lethargy, allowing the wasp to do whatever it wants. But this does not kill the roach as the wasp's venom simply disables the roach's reflexes. So at this point, if you were to turn on the light, it would not run away. While the venom takes effect, the wasp waits nearby. She returns to her prey after a while, then proceeds to vibrate her wing muscles in order to sever the roach's antenna. Satisfied, the wasp then leads the stupefied insect to her burrow and probes the roach's body for a perfect spot to lay one single egg. Inside the burrow, the roach is alive and well, but unable to escape. The egg will soon hatch inside of the cockroach and the young insect will bore its way into the roach's body and consume its inside slowly while still keeping the cockroach alive. Sometime later, a new wasp emerges from the roach's carcass like a freaking xenomorph and goes on to repeat the cycle. This whole situation is like a disgusting horror movie version of a beautiful butterfly coming out of a cocoon. As dark as nature can get, I still think this is all kind of pretty interesting. Which of these weird zombie creatures do you think is the most disturbing? Let us know in the comments. And as always, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you liked this video. See you next time!